everybody. This is Mona and welcome back to Butterflies Home and Garden. I'm coming on to share with you a latest seed haul delivery that came in the mail today. <clears throat> I'm so excited. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Okay. So first things first, I love how Park Seeds, they send this little um, seed starting handbook um, with your orders and I think it's just really a lot of good information um, that they put in here um, I mean just a little bit of everything so I like this um, but the seeds that I got is um, this one is it this one yeah this one is a purple pak choy um, this will be my first season ever growing pak choy so I'm um, just curious to see how that's going to turn out. Um, another one I got is a hybrid tomato. It's the big beef um, hybrid. So I'm really looking forward to that. And this is leeks um, by Park Seeds, but it's on the seed tape. So let me get my camera set up so I can open that up for you. Um, and we can take a look. So give me a moment. All right, here we go. Um, I didn't know that they sold um, seed tapes. Um, the other ones I got are from Lowe's. And then I ordered some directly from Burpee. Um, so here is what theirs look like. So let's take one off. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's really precise, um, and they have one seed, it looks like every inch, um, there's a seed, and I've never, this would be my first season also growing leeks, um, so I'm really curious, I don't think, honestly, I don't even think I've ever eaten leeks before, so it's going to be very, very interesting and exciting to see how all of this comes together and grows and the other one I got was a red cells lettuce I love red cells lettuce I think between that one and the green leaf lettuce is pretty much all I grow um, I may experiment this year and grow some other varieties um, and let's tear this one and see how it looks Okay. I mean, with this one, you would have to definitely do some thinning out. Um, so that's not interesting. I am excited. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, this is just so good, good, good. I mean, it gardening just takes me to a happy place. Um, and I'm sure most gardeners out there feel the same way and you know that's one of the reasons why we grow our own food um, it makes us happy um, and also at park seeds they always send you a coupon um, so you guys are welcome to screenshot that I hope it's coming up and use the promo code that they have which is park 40 um, capital P-A-R 40 so, I think you would really, really like their seeds the way that I like mine. Um, and I also um, decided to start some more of my seeds as I look through my chart. Because um, right now, it is, I want to say 12 weeks before the last frost. Let me look really quick. Yeah, we're at 12 weeks before the last frost. So, um, as I was looking through my information, I saw that there were other seeds that I could go ahead and get started right now. Um, so, that is what I'm going to do. And um, a couple of these are also an experiment just to see um, how they grow. 
because I've never grown them before. So we have the Snowball Cauliflower, Quinoa, uh, the Valetto Artichoke, and the Purple Pak Choi. So um, let me go over here. And because I did also, since the last video, um, start some more um, seeds with the onions. Uh, so, yay. I'm just happy, happy. Um, so, let me show you exactly where some things are at right now. Um, and I was so totally surprised. Oops. Hold on, guys. Bear with me so I can get this thing out of the way. Um, but we have movement over here on the broccoli. You see that? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so I did go ahead in this tray um, in the back four. Those are four different varieties of onions. Um, and I'm going to take you over here to the grow rack because I need to show you something over here that is just truly, truly amazing. Um, and that is this. The blue Hubbard squash. I mean, this thing, when I say it has got some strong roots, um, this one I started my starts on February 6th. So I, I up potted these um, and put into these plastic cups. And I mean, look at that. I mean, just this thing really, really grows. So I'm really excited about that. And let's see what we got going on up here. Um, we still got some flowers going. You yeah, nothing yet. And then I'm going to try that, uh, the Craig's Giant Jalapeno again. And see how that is. I mean, some of the flowers are trying to shoot up. I may just go ahead and drop some more seeds down in those. Um, the beets are doing great. They're starting to get their true leaves. I don't know how well that's showing up, but right there in the center. And over here on the biodome, things are really, really taking off. Um, let me move you up. So I'm really, really satisfied about that. I mean, back here... We have some Chinese Hinton, Hinton um, which is a, a cabbage variety. Um, and things are just really, really just taken off. I mean, it looks fantastic. Um, down here is, this is the pot where I did that rollout um, on the seed tape for the flower. So I'm starting to see little flowers pop up in there yeah so it's doing really really good this right here is lettuce and I'm not sure what's going on with that I may have to drop some more seeds in that as well um, the sugar daddy snap pea is still doing its thing um, the peppers are really you know, just let me move that up. Um, right here, you see a lot of flowering and down in there. And so it's really, really doing this thing. And the lettuce, um, we're almost done with the lettuce that we have in the fridge. So tomorrow uh, we'll be kind of chomping on that to eat on for lunch. Um, but I just wanted to come on and show you guys my seed haul and do a little update um, video. So I think that is about it <laughs> for this video. Um, so as always, guys, be blessed and I will see you on the next video. Take care.